If you're a Jamaican and you're under 24, this video is for you. Why? I had a feeling you'd ask. You have the power to change the direction of our country by voting in the next election. That sounds like a huge responsibility, and the truth is, it is, but one I know you can handle. Helping out your family, feeling safe, going to university, good job opportunities, home ownership. These are a few things that you have said are important to you. But before we go any further, for those of you who are unfamiliar with me, my name is Mark Golding, leader of the opposition. By the way, your vote can change that. And if you're turning 18 this year, that means that you were about eight when I became Minister of Justice. However, in spite of that, my dirt bounce isn't too bad. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Well, it's a work in progress. You may think, why vote? It won't make a difference to what is trending on TikTok or get you any more Robux or cause your side to win the EPL. Run. What a goal. Or even be mentioned in Valiant's next song. But here's why your vote can make a difference. Let your vote be your voice. Make sure that the things that matter to you are heard loud and clear. In the 2020 general election, voters aged 18 to 19 years old only amounted to 1.22% of total voters. And voters aged 20 to 24 were only 8.87%. This means you aren't using your voice where it matters most, in the ballot box. Here are four issues that affect you and depend on your vote to create change. Education. Education is the best antidote to poverty passing from this generation to the next. Your vote can help to make tertiary education more accessible to everyone. Your vote can help eliminate the requirement of a guarantor for students to access a student loan. It can help to cap student loan payments at a manageable percentage of your actual income so that the state, not you, the student, bears the risks of low pay or unemployment. And if you lose your job and you're unemployed, we will suspend loan payments and tack them to the back end of your loan without any penalties. That's what your vote can do. Crime and safety. Your future depends on the right measures for crime being put in place. And I think you're mature and smart enough to realize it's not just about police and soldiers patrolling the streets. It has to start with healing ourselves and our communities and giving our at-risk youth a second chance to become productive citizens. Many of you will know a young person that the education system failed, who if he or she had that second chance through mentorship, training, remedial education and job placement, could become a positive contributor to our society instead of chopping and pushing badness. Time come to use your vote to change that. Jobs and wages. So many of you said you wanted to become successful, to help out your families and enjoy your life. Do you realize that many of the world's largest businesses today are in the same age range as many of you? Amazon is 28, Google 24, Facebook 18, Instagram 12, and TikTok is six. New technologies will continue to disrupt and supersede existing industries. And as the world goes increasingly digital, Jamaica must not be left behind. We need our own digital transformation, bringing affordable broadband internet to every Jamaican home to help our young Jamaicans to compete and outshine their peers across the world. Your vote can help us to make those necessary changes. Our environment. We need a government that means what it says when it comes to protecting our environment. The cockpit country, our rivers, our mangroves, coral reefs and our beaches. That doesn't just say nice sounding things at international climate conventions, but meanwhile allows what's happening here in Jamaica to destroy our natural environment permanently. We need a government that ensures that the National Environmental and Planning Agency, NEPA, is really independent and can protect us that will amend the law so that there are heavy penalties on big polluters who recklessly damage our country. We know climate change is real and we're willing to fight for change. Time come to use your vote and fight along with us for Jamaica's future. Time come to stand up for your rights, your future and your choices. 
Let's come together and show them your voice is as valuable as anyone else's. That you no longer sit back and let anyone else make choices for you. Find out everything you need to know about voting at markgoldingja.com slash vote. Remember, get out and vote. Your voice, your vote, your choice.